Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina Manic, Lady of the Realm, and welcome, fellow YouTubers. Guys, today I was looking at my a YouTube page, and I noticed a lot of things. One, my hey, kidnapped by Anita. That video has gone up to a hundred and two views. Awesome. Thank you to everyone and anyone who's been telling other people to watch and see. Please continue to do that. And I hope these videos, I hope you all enjoy those videos. Oh, I, I also noticed that people kind of looked at my response to Amazing Atheist. Yes. Can men talk about feminism? As well as I've seen uh, my third Irish rat, my my uh, I have about 200 videos. I mean, 200 videos. And finally, after 21 hours, my I'm flamboyant video has at least one view. Yeah, I guess it's really not much to be proud of. If you're someone with more than a thousand subscribers, there's a thousand videos. In the world. But I'm happy and I'm thankful. Yes, I lost a subscriber, which I don't know what I did, and I personally apologize to the person who unsubscribed. Okay. I hate to upset you, but, you know, hey, I apologize for any video that offended you, but I, these, I hope you're aware that all these are my personal opinions. You don't have to go along with them if you don't want to. However, anyways, on this special episode of Tea Time, hey, the time where I drink tea and we discuss. Yes. I'm going to talk about uh, Facebook. I know I've done my rant, I know I've done discussions about certain things like that, but well, I guess the whole internet all together. Because there's certain things where I'm just going, first of all, I'll be Facebook. And I'm talking directly about the issue, the Carter incident, and with his, what he said on Facebook, or wherever he said it, and how many people are just enraged by this comment. Part of me is like, are they enraged because you just heard about it? Or are they enraged because you just should say that on Facebook? Which, okay. I'm sure it's both. For me, if I'm enraged about it, it's probably more of why should we care? I mean, yes, I'm aware of the fact he said something bad. But I kind of feel like I don't think people are handling this well. Because if it's this much of a problem, the wisest thing that you could possibly do is keep your flat shut. Say, hey, we're going to take you to jail for a couple of weeks. Things and see how that goes. It's not good to incarcerate a person, regardless of what it is, but I kind of feel like it was unfair incarceration in the first place. Also, it feels like the media is all over the place. I mean, I've heard stories on the internet that sound very similar to this. I've heard Young Turks discuss it, and like I said, in my other video, which I will link, will link in the description about that. But, it's like, folks, I think we're missing a part of the puzzle. 
I understand he did something wrong. I understand we're handling it. What I don't understand is why make a big deal out of it? I mean, I'm aware of the fact Facebook is a public forum, but believe it or not, you can do things in a public place and not get caught. Hell, if I was, even if I was at a mall, I am very, very careful if I, let's say if I went to the mall and had my cousin. God forbid that my cousin's 12 feet taller than me or something. Hey, not that he could be 12, not that anyone could be 12 feet tall. I guess it could happen. Anyways, that I couldn't handle him. I could, I can watch after him, hold him back, or whatever. He would have to kind of been himself, sadly. But at the same time, I'm going to keep my eye on my cousins and my friends and everyone I know. Oh, because the mall, albeit it's public, doesn't mean there aren't certain things that go on in the shadows that I know nothing about. Uh, now, those things should be reported. Everyone should know that just for safety reasons. But I feel like, yeah, the kid said something stupid, but does this really call for this much media attention? I mean, if that's so, then everyone should be in trouble. Because I hate saying this, but those who have sin cast the first stone. Said in the Bible, heard in other places, if you're going to do something bad, if you're going to punish people for doing something bad, especially something like that, everyone should be punished. Anyone who's ever done it should be punished. Hell, jails would be filled right now if it wasn't fast. We need to keep people working. People should have jobs. Da -da -da, you know, but, and I know part of it is paranoia due to the Columbine incident and the other school shootings, but that's not what he said, I think. And they've had him other places where they're like, oh, this is what he said, that's what he said, and I'm like, okay, he released one story where he just said something in a sarcastic tone, because it was sarcasm. It was meant to be like, oh yeah, whatever, idiot. It was never supposed to be taken this far. And I'm sure the kid, he's learned his lesson. I won't ever say things like that on Facebook, which is fine. Okay, I'm fine with teaching him a lesson, but I kind of feel like five months in jail is not teaching him a lesson. I think that's just, we don't like kids, so we're going to punish them for everything. Okay, that's what I say. And we've had other instances where this has occurred. Oh, yeah, Facebook parenting. I respect dad for getting a rain on his daughter and everything, but even I think he went too far. And not because, oh, he's a dad and, you know, I'm a young person and I don't understand. I'm not, I'm, I'm not old enough to have children. I haven't had kids. I don't want, I don't really don't want children now. <laughs> Not because I don't like kids or anything, but because they are household raised. It's just a lot of work. However, uh, shooting at her Facebook, I mean, at her uh, laptop and all that stuff, I think that might have gone too far. I'm glad the video is going viral. I just think that people who are like, oh, the Facebook dad is a hero. Obvious parents from Texas. I'm sorry to say this, but Texas has a lot of people going crazy lately, and I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to live in Texas. I got enough of that nonsense here and where I live. I'm not gonna say where I live, but I got enough of that crazy nonsense here. So thank you. <sighs> but it's amazing how people are just so crazy in other parts of this country. Sorry, mate. Sorry, um, yeah, you weren't supposed to see that. Good lord. Shave your underarms and shave your nuts. Anyways, I just don't understand people and their stupidity when it comes to this sort of nonsense. Anyways, 
This is me, Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. I say, please, subscribe. Button is over here. Yeah. I say it's going to take a lot of practice to do that. And please follow me on Twitter. Alright. On Twitter. Uh, and Tumblr. All right. And look at my fanfiction. And. Sorry, fanfiction and. Oh, WordPress blog. And have a good night. And I hope you enjoyed this tea time. And please. Don't be afraid to add comments and suggestions and all sorts of things like that. Have a great night.